Hi guys, welcome back to Dat. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at TBS Tracer 69. So here's the actual tracer unit. Let's open her up and we'll see what we actually get in the packet. Pour it all out. There we go, that's everything. So I believe these are some little screws just to actually put the whole thing together because I believe there's a case and everything that you use. Uh, so you get your plug wire that's to plug the actual unit in. Tiny antenna. See that one on there? SMA connection. Because obviously you do realize that this is actually a built-in. So you've got your tracer receiver and you've got their Unified Pro all in one. So you've got your VTX and your receiver and this smart 2020 size which is really nice. So the same size as the actual Rush unit that I used to really like. It's a really good size. And to have the receiver in it at the same time is really quite nice. So there she is. Let you take that in for a second. I mean, this is the actual tracer side, so this is the receiver. And the other side is obviously the VTX or the Unified Pro. So she looks very nice, doesn't she? So we're just going to run through what this is. So like I said, this is the tracer receiver itself. So the antenna goes on this side. And the SMA connection will go on this side. Let me zoom this camera in. And we'll go through what all of this is. So, like I said, the antenna for Tracer goes on here. SMA for your VTX will go on this side. And your plug cable will go in here. Let me make sure I get that the right way around. And it is that way around. That is the way it plugs in. Let's actually just plug it in. Save it flipping over. It's only loosely plugged in. These two go that side. And then you've got all your cables there. So that's the way to actually do it. <clears throat> and we're going to run through these little wires. You've got your main power and your main ground. Now for some reason, this actual power cable, or this power going in, it says 5.5 volts or 36 volts. So obviously you know flight controllers have mainly five volt pads, and they have, they're rare, well they do, some do have nine volt pads as well. But if you've only got five volt pads, you're gonna to have to put this directly onto the battery pads, which isn't a problem, because it goes to 36 volts, so it will be absolutely fine. The unit I'm actually going to be sticking this on has a 9 volt pad, so I am going to wire this just to a 9 volt pad, just because it'd be actually easier to actually solder in. So those are your main two power ones. You've got here then your sort of VTX cables. This is actually a power out, so this will power your um, camera if you want to do it that way. So you could plug this directly into your camera. So that's your camera power, so that's a 5 volt, 5 volt out. Then you've got your black one here, this is a ground obviously, and then the yellow as standard is your video. So if you wanted to wire that directly into your camera you could. What I'll be doing is I will be using this onto the actual pads of the flight controller in the normal place putting the ground in the video. So those would be absolutely perfect. Next two are for audio, if you've got a separate little mic you can wire a mic in. So you've got audio and ground audio ground again. So these last two here, these are for your receiver. So these, the white one is RX, so that will go to TX. The green one is TX, so that goes to RX. You always, 
uh, do the opposite. So RX goes to TX, TX goes to RX. And that is your receiver. So that is how it will be wired in. For me, like I said, I'm going to be wiring the video straight into the um, flight controller. I'm probably going to be removing the power out because I don't actually need it. I'm not going to be wiring the camera directly in. But that should be, it should be a really nice um, little unit to put in. I will be wiring it into an actual um, quad. I will be testing it. And one thing I'm interested to see, because obviously this unit only has the one antenna and the thing with Tracer, I've got a Tracer Nano coming. Oh, it's not called a Nano, it's just a Tracer receiver. But that actually has two of these. So they banged on about the diversity with two antennas. With the one antenna, you're obviously losing your diversity, surely. So I'm interested to see as well, I'll be testing both of these, see if the actual range on this is less than their standard receiver with the two antennas. So looking forward to those coming. I've also got the Mambo controller on its way and we'll be doing a full setup, full reviews. That ran through the wiring and how to get it all set up. So hopefully that's helpful to you out there. Um, in here, this is the actual mounting stuff. So you have two ways of mounting. You can obviously just do the 2020, or you can do the 30 adapter. So it's got a 30 adapter as well. So that's the 30 adapter. Let's have a quick look at this. Let's take this out. So this, so this goes on top like so. This is the bottom. Make sure I get it the right way. Well, this is the top even. That's the top. Will fit on there. This part here. Probably get it the wrong way now. We'll go in like so. And that will all collapse together. So that fits like that. And just squeeze it and use the screws to actually put it together. If you want to do the 30 by 30, you just change the top. And that should fit on like so. There we go. Well, if I push it all down, I'm not going to push it all down because I need to actually install it properly. But there's the 30 by 30. So you've got all your options there. It's a real nice little unit. Looking forward to actually getting it in and testing it out. Like I said, I am going to be doing the test. Test this. I will test the actual standard receiver as well with the two antennas. So that's it, guys. Just a nice little one. Wanted to go through the wiring for this. I haven't seen many of these online. So I hope that's helpful to somebody out there. If it is, smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and let's keep on doing these. See you on the next one.